Hi everyone, Courtney here. I'm just here for an update on AMC and the short squeeze. I want to start off by saying I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just somebody who is reading the charts and has an opinion as to what is to come. So let's get into it. And I want to show you what I found about the charts. So first off, this is AMC's chart. I'm on Weeble level two, but I just want to show you a couple things. So first off, these lines here, we have four lines going through. If I were to turn them off, right, we just kind of have the, uh, turn that one off, right? This is the price of the stock, right? As it goes up and down, the red signifies the sells and the green signifies the, the gains. And this is pretty uh, normal as to see on your app that you're trading on. Now, if we pull up something called bull lines, so these are a set of three lines and they have to do with the buys and the sells, the highs and the lows of each day and the standard deviation between them all. And basically the high is two standard deviations from the mid and then the low is two standard deviations below that. So you can see our low one is in the negative 399 region. And if that is not enough, just a couple days ago, it was like in the negative $5 region, right? So we are trending upwards on that one. Now, normally bull lines are somewhat close together, right? So like if we go back, they normally kind of do this thing where they somewhat follow each other like so. So sometimes the stock will trend towards the upper line and then it will go towards the lower line and then it will you know, go again towards the upper line and then it will trend towards the lower line again. So as we can see, this is a pretty wide girth that we have here. And my analysis of this, take it for what you will, I'm no financial advisor or even a stock analyst on Wall Street. I'm just some person sitting on Weeble looking at this stuff. So my analysis of this is basically we can see that this line is trending upwards. So this line was lower just when we had that negative $5 lower range. The day we, uh, on that day, we had about a $14 upper line. Now it's in the $15 range. So we are trending upwards, it looks like. See that midline was in the you know four upper $4 range on that day. Um, and now it's in the 581. It's kind of hard to see, but it's about 581. So you can see that we've gone up about a dollar on each front. So while today we were down, it does seem, and you know, we were up just a few minutes ago and after hours. It uh, seems like we went down right at the end there. But as you can see, these bull lines do seem to look like they're about to come together. What I thought about that is that this looks like kind of a W-shaped recovery. And so normally that is actually a somewhat bullish indication, right? I don't know if it's going to drop anymore. It could actually drop more tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. It could go up a little bit. But what this tells me is that this is not the right time for me to sell because I think it will do this W, meaning that it went up. It goes down and then it's going to go up again before going down again. And so I, if I were making my decision as to whether buy or sell AMC, I would think I'm going to hold because I think it's either at or near the bottom of this curve here. And so I'm not going to sell at or near the bottom. I'm going to wait for it to go up, either get my gain, you know, even out, don't lose a thing, hopefully. Um, and if not, you know, maybe I'll make some gains or at least get close to evening out. But I think I'm at or near the bottom, which means that we're going to hit a turning point here soon. Whether or not that's tomorrow, Monday, in a week, in a month, I'm not sure, but I don't sell at the bottom. That's how I make my gains. And so that is what I am seeing here. So using that as a decision-making process, I'm going to hold. Another really interesting thing I saw here was just looking at this volume curve, you can see our volume is, has gone down uh, a little bit here. Now, what I wanna show you is two things. I want to show you GME's curve, and I also want to show you the Volkswagen squeeze curve from 2008, where basically Porsche uh, started buying shares of Volkswagen, 
they would not sell them even though there were a ton of short sellers and then all the short sellers got squeezed out just like they did with GameStop. So let's show you that. Here it is. Okay, so as you can see here, this is our GameStop, or uh, sorry, our Volkswagen squeeze from 2008. Uh, its average price was about 187.9, or let's just say 188. And um, as Porsche started buying it up, this is our initial peak here, and then it kind of dips and goes back up again. It almost goes up to about, looks like $400 or so. And then it dips back down. I know it dipped back down to about $210, give or take. So it was almost back to where it started, maybe 30% up from where it started. And then it shot up over just one or two days. So up to $912.68. So that was about a, let's just say, four and a half times increase or 450% returns. So as you can see also on the volume curve, we did have an increase and then a dip and then we increase and then we dip slightly down and then we really increased our volume again before dipping down at the end. So right there is a really good uh, baseline to look at volume on. Now, of course, I don't know if this is gonna happen. Um, I don't know uh, what's going to happen. Nobody does. Right. But I would think, you know, the reason why this happened in the short squeeze is because Porsche wasn't going to sell its shares. It owned 70 percent of Volkswagen, so it wasn't going to sell its shares. And it basically forced the hands of the short sellers. So this happened, I want to say, um, I think it was over about a month total, uh, two weeks to a month total. And GameStops was about three to four weeks, I believe. So let's look at GameStop here. So if we go back a little, it is doing this thing with the bull lines as well. But if we look at this volume curve, right? So first we have a little bit of a peak and then it goes down and then it shot back up and then went down again. So looking at this, I would say that GameStop squeeze is unfortunately over. Could it go back up again? Yes. But if we were again, looking that up against uh, our Volkswagen squeeze, you can see it went up, went down a little, and then went back up again. We're seeing that same thing with GameStop here. All right, so you can see our RSI was pretty high throughout versus with AMC. It is a little bit lower here. RSI basically shows whether it's underbought or oversold. We're about in the middle here. Um, there's really no consensus as to whether this is overbought or oversold. It could go either way at this point. Um, it does seem like it is trending a little bit low, but that could very easily go back up again. It could go down, it could go up. I would think with the bowl lines that it will probably go up since these are trending up. We'll have to see, right? The price could fall a little bit towards this lower line. Again, before going up, we'll have to see how long that takes. But just based off of this volume here, it does look to me like this is the first curve before a squeeze. and we don't know if a squeeze is gonna happen. We don't know how many of us are actually going to hold on to see if it's going to happen. Um, I just wouldn't sell while it's low, just personally. That's a rule of mine. I don't wanna sell when the stock is all the way low. I do think, like I said, it's at or near the bottom. So I'm not gonna sell now, short squeeze or not. Now also just short squeeze or not, I am investing in AMC because I do believe in it on a fundamental basis. You know, from this stock rally, they did sell shares, they did make a lot of money, and they are no longer at risk for bankruptcy, which is amazing for a company. They also have enough liquid cash to start to pay down their debt, which is really important when to know when uh, investing in a company. You know, how much in debt are they, and are they going to be able to pay that down realistically? Also, you know, movie theaters are about to open again. They do have a streaming service, so they're in the 21st century. Um, there's really no reason for me to not be investing in AMC at this low of a price. It has gotten up to $35 in the past, and it, it was up at, you know, in the 10 to teens amount just a couple of years ago. And I do believe that now that they're out of debt, the company will come back to at least that level. So I am in it for the long term on this one. 
Uh, we'll have to see what happens with the squeeze, but I don't think you would, could go wrong with investing in this company at this low of a price in general. We'll have to see what happens over the couple of days. You know, like I said, it could drop down to this 581 mark. Um, we'll have to see. You can see just a couple of days ago though, you know, this mid mark was about 261. So we've gone up about a $3 since then. Um, and it looks like it could be either going up or evening out. So I would think that we're at the trough of this W. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a Wall Street analyst, but I do think some good things are coming for AMC. So take it as you will. This is all just my opinion. You make your own decisions based off of the best information that you have. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I'll be putting out more updates as I think of things to share with you guys. All right. Good luck, everyone. Hopefully we make the squeeze happen.